Hey everybody, trap and ride here. Wrote uh, on the trap line today and we're doing some beaver control work on this location, but we're also setting it up for multi-species. It uh, pays when you're trapping to trap everything that's available to you at every location, especially in today's slow fur market and high input costs. So uh, where we're at here, we've got a, a culvert here that drains under this old laneway. A thick cedary bush over there and goes up into a gravel knoll, long grass. As you can see, there's some big maple trees up there on that fence line. Good dining spot for coons. And down here, the beavers have this culvert half plugged. So they backed up this creek into a little pool here. And what's going on here is the raccoons are crossing from one side to the other. As you can see, there's a good coon trail there. A more faint one there. Another good trail here. That looks to be about it so far on this location. Take you back up here. As you can see, we got a a real nice coon there in the 220. There's the trail he was crossing on right there. It goes back and heads over to this side to the water over here. We're gonna get this coon removed and reset that 220 and we're gonna add a couple more 220s on these other trails. And maybe two uh, DP traps as well to cover all our bases here. Okay, I'm just going to show you how I'm set up here. You can see we got 220 and I run them on stakeizers. I like stakeizers just because they're my stake and my trap holder all in one. You don't have to use them, but they're they're handy and they work good with my system. As you can see, I've brushed them in good with a bunch of long grass and some goldenrod stems, so the the coon just kind of sees that hole going through the 220. I like to run my triggers in a V wide V like that. As far as 220s, I got a multitude of brands. I don't find one any better than the other as far as coon trapping goes. Whether they're Belisles, Dukes, I got a bunch of BMIs, Vectors, you name it. It's quite a LDLs. It's quite a, quite a mismatch. And this one here too, where we just tucked the coon out of already set blended in with some goldenrod and grass and another one down here on this trail here as you can see all the coon sees is that nice inviting hole heads right on through it and over here we've put in a couple of Duke DP traps, one there, one there. They're not real far apart. I like to keep my DPs close together. Live coons are an attractant for more coons, I find. So they're just far enough that they're not tangling each other up and messing up the swiveling action. There's my bait and lure sitting there. Don't use anything fancy for bait, it's just a dry fish pellets or dry cat food with some lure ingredients blended in and then that there's just shellfish oil mixed with some vegetable oil and I just give that a little shot down the back of the trap just as a little more scent attractant. Well, this should be good for a couple more coons tomorrow. Hope everybody has a good one on the trap.